if you want to add more realism to your blender renders noise mimicking film grain is a great way and I'm going to show you two methods I've been using we're going to be using texture nodes in the compositor and this grain is fully procedural we're not going to be using an image texture but I will show you how to do that if you're looking to use real noise samples from film or even dirt, scratches, anything like that. In theory, you could experiment with any image. Although if you are trying to mimic a certain film look, I would recommend collecting references from the internet. When we refer to grain, we're actually talking about the visible silver crystals in the film's emulsion. The higher the film ISO, the bigger the crystals. And that's definitely something to consider when you're compositing. You can also fully animate the grain, which means the scale or location of the grain will be randomized in every frame of the render. First, we're going to render this project. This gives us a backdrop for the compositor, so we can see what we're doing. If you navigate up to the compositing workspace, up here there is a use nodes. Tick this box and you should see this. When you're using the compositing tab, you're essentially adding effects over the render. You'll see the backdrop button at the top right here. It will use an active viewer node to output the backdrop. Now you'll see this is just a black screen. There's no viewer node active. So what we're going to do to start is right click, add, output and viewer. Drag from this socket into the viewer node there we go we can see our render so next we need to add a texture node right click add input texture there's no texture assigned to this right now so we're going to click new this will add a new texture feel free to name this what you'd like I'm going to name mine grain now the texture node needs to sign in an actual texture so the way to do that is to come over to the properties on the right hand side scroll down to the bottom one this is the texture type this is where you're going to select the noise so noise texture next we're going to add color mix mix color node so we're going to attach image into image A value from the texture into image slot B the output into the viewer node. You can also direct it into the composite tab. This is so that it will be in the final render. This is the node setup, the simple node setup for noise. Our factor on the mix node is the control panel for mixing the render with the grain. One of the main functions of a mix node is that we can actually change the blending mode. So if we click here, by default it's going to be on mix. I usually go for add have seen people use multiply which works in a similar way but tends to bring the exposure with it so once you've applied some noise an easy way to see a before and after is to select the mix node and press M on your keyboard as you can see we're toggling between grainy and the render without grain so for the grain to animate we're going to come to the texture node hold on the top box and drag down to select them all and we're going to simply type in hashtag frame enter so you'll see the box will turn purple if I zoom in here the noise will animate one of my favorite parts of this setup is how much freedom it gives you to play around but if you come into texture type and change it to distorted noise we actually get a different look altogether and we have more control too of course we're going to bring the size down to the lowest setting and it starts to look like an interesting grain the benefits of using the distorted noise instead of just the noise is that we get more control and for certain renders i found it looking a lot more realistic using this method at the beginning of this video I did mention using an image texture so I will show you how to do that. If you come over to texture type you can change it from noise, distorted noise, whatever to image or movie. Once you've selected that you can open your grain texture whatever you're trying to composite. 
I've imported a grain sample from the web. This will just act as the grain node now, and we can use the factor to just start dialing it in. Same process, however, it's not procedural. Back in the layout tab, if you want to preview the grain over the camera whilst you work, you can actually come to this little arrow next to shading, compositor, and enable camera. By default, this is disabled. So we're going to check the resolution's good and come to render. Once our render is complete, we can see the grain has successfully outputted onto our render. If you do want to see it before, we can actually toggle between layers up here, the top right of the render output. So there you go. If you wanted to save that now, you can obviously come to image, save as, and you could save that with the grain baked into the image. You can get so many looks using texture nodes. I hope you found this useful, guys.